Okay, here are your select facts problems. It looks like I never finished creating the slide here. So this is problems three and six. So I will write three and six, right? Problems three and six on, um, on the practice. Now, um, yeah, so I'll go over these. Okay, so this first one, right, we, uh, we've got one of the, the more simpler kind of the two that we had in the lesson, right? So we're just going to square both sides, right? Now, the big thing to remember on this one is that when you square this right side that you're actually applying this, this gets applied to this, and it also gets applied to the radical sign, right? So we, we just can't forget that when we do this. So that blitzes that out and get g plus 7 okay and then 2 squared is 4 and then when you square this the radical that is going to go away and we're going to put it in to uh, parentheses because it's 4 times this whole thing it's not just 4 times 2g it's 4 times the entire quantity so we have to just make sure we reflect that by using uh, grouping symbols right so we have g plus 7 is equal to, and now let's do our, uh, our distributive property. So we have 4 times 2g, which is 8g, and then 4 times negative 7, which is negative 28. All right, um, let's move some things. All right, so we're going to, uh, we're going to, let's leave the variables on the right side this time, and let's put the numbers on the left. So let's add 28 to both sides and then we because we're moving the numbers over here so we're going to do we're going to this one we're going to do numbers and then variables right we're going to do it like that and so because the variables are going to be over here let's subtract g so we move that over to the right okay and so that is going to give me before while i switch back to a normal kind of color. That's going to give me 7g because this is 8 minus 1g, right? That's what that means. This goes away. Um, your g's go away over here. And we have 28 plus 7, right? They're both positive, so you just add them. You have 35, divide both by 7. And you get g is equal to 5. So now let's, uh, let's grab a different color here and let's do my check step. All right, check steps, I guess it would be, because it's not just one step. So we're going to go the square root of 5 plus 7. I'm going to show it, show us putting it in by using the uh, parentheses. And then 2 times 5, all right, because it's 2g, so 2 times whatever g is, and g is 5, minus 7. All right, so this gives me a square root of 12 equals 2 times the square root of 10 minus 7. So let, let's simplify this. So we get 2 times the square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 12. Okay, so great, but remember 12 can be factored so that it has a square number in it, right? It's it, 12 can be factored to 4 times 3. So we can rewrite this as square root of 4 times 3 equals 2 times the square root of 3 break it up, right, the square root property, you can do that, right, and then the square root of 4 is 2. So we get 2 times the square root of 3 is equal to 2 times the square root of 3. Works out. We're happy people. You go sweet, and then you circle your answer, and uh, yeah, and we're in good shape. All right, so that's that one. All right, number six. So we'll do these both in the same video, even though this one's going to take a little more. But you know what? You can always fast forward or whatever you got to do. All right. So we're going to go to squaring right away because if you move the one around, all it's going to do is just make you have to square it on a different side. So it doesn't matter, right? So we're doing this. Um, when you square this one, because it's just one term, the radical nice and neatly goes away and you get 3x plus 1. Now on this side, remember that we're not applying this, you can't apply this to an, to an addition problem, right? We have to basically think of this, right, as 1 plus the square root of 3x times 1 plus the square root of 3x because it's two 
the same terms, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna write it like that over here, and then we will take the next step and we will blow it up. So we get three x plus one is equal to. So we're gonna take uh, I'm gonna do green for this, right? So we do these, right? And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna do these. All right. So we're gonna go one times one, that's so chunky, right? And then one times three x, right? One times, or square root of three x, my bad. Okay, now I'll do red. Sorry, I get lazy and don't wanna make it the thin one. Um, so we got square root of three x times one, and then the square root of three x times the square root of three x. All right, so this is what we have. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to black and go slim again. So we got 3x plus 1 is equal to 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times square root of 3x is just square root of 3x, and, it's, and it is positive, right? So we will go plus square root of 3x. Same thing over here, so plus square root of 3x. And then this last term, when you multiply them, right, not when you add them like this, but when you multiply them like this, this is the same as square root of 3x squared, right? So it just, again, that takes care of that. So you get plus 3x, right? So cool. I like that. That works. All right. So um, we get 3x plus 1 is equal to 1. Now, when you have two radicals, right, and it's the same thing, you almost treat this like it's a, its own variable, like 3x, you could think of this, it's like, we're going to call this w. Well, if you hit, or the square root of it is w, right? So you have one w plus another w, so you have two w's, right? So basically, when you add these up, it's like you have two of the same thing. So you have two square roots of 3x, right? Because there's one here and one here that we don't write, but they're kind of implied. So this is what you get, and then you got plus 3x. All right, now, next step, and we usually, we know what kind of tends to happen when we do this, is we are going to subtract 3x from both sides. We're going to subtract 1 from both sides, and the reason we're, we're doing this is I'm clearing out this side to get 2 times the square root of 3x and get it by itself, right? So it clears this side out, which is what I wanted, Unfortunately, it also clears this side out because we have the same thing on both sides, right? You got this 3x and the 1 here, you got a 3x and 1 here. Well, that, that also cancels out, so you got a 0, all right? So when you get that, don't panic, right? Don't go, oh, no solution, oh, my God, what am I? No, 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 that's not how it works, right? Just, you know, take a look at it and keep, keep calm and use your process. We're going to get rid of the 2 by dividing, so, and it's, it's nice and easy, right? So you get square root of 3x is equal to 0. We like 0. We like 0 a lot. All right, and so now to get square root of 3x by itself, you are going to square it, right? We want to get rid of the radical sign. Okay, let me scoot this down a little bit. Okay, so th this will apply to this. goes away, it becomes 3x. 0 squared is just 0. And then to finish, if you divide by 3, you get x is equal to 0. And this is my answer, all right? And so now what I want to do is plug this thing back into the original equation, which is right here, and see what I get, okay? So my check steps, all right, would be the square root of 3 times 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 plus the square root of 3 times 0. All right, so this becomes zero, right? This is going to be zero as well. So this gives me the square root of one is equal to one plus the square root of zero. The square root of zero is just zero. One plus zero is one. And then the square root of one is one. And so it does check out we like that. And so this is my solution, right? I think a lot of times we see zero as a solution and we, we kind of freak out and think that, Oh, that can't be a solution, but it, it absolutely can be a solution, right? And we know that from graphing polynomials that a lot of times you have zero as one of your solutions. 
and it's actually pretty easy to work with. So that's how that works. So good luck with these, and uh, yeah, and we'll we'll see you at the next one. This one.